Hey, how's it going, Ampers? Miss you. I really do. <laughs> I really do. You don't know what I would give to have a Thursday night with all of you right now and to just give some amazing hugs, uh, tease a few of you, eat some hot dogs and chips and cookies and just worship and talk about all of this and just ask you face to face, like, how are you doing? I long for that deeply. Uh, I was asked to come in this week and give a little message and a little, hopefully some encouragement, especially over the topic of loneliness. Um, loneliness is something that I feel and that we feel in, on the AMP team that is very, very much prevalent amongst so many of us. And it, it doesn't matter the age of us right now. I think that there, there is something, and we'll talk about this deep within us, that we are not designed to live the way that we are all currently living. We are not created to live in quarantine. We are not created to live separate from one another and others. Whew. So like my quarantine life, I'm doing this in my car because I have six children and we, as you know, they're home. <laughs> so I'm hiding in my car so I can give you my undivided attention and so the Lord can use me to hopefully encourage you right now. Um, showers are optional, right? Getting dressed, I'm pretty sure these are my pajama shirt. Uh, it's, it's quarantine life, right? So what I wanna do, I wanna first start off by just saying, I'm sorry, like, and I recognize it and what you're feeling is real. Like if you're feeling lonely and maybe it's doesn't, that word doesn't resonate. What maybe a different word would be, um, sad, depressed, uh, s feeling distant from people. What's another word? Isolated. Maybe there's deep feelings of emptiness, uh, whatever it word it is that describes it for you. I just want you to know it's, it's absolutely normal to be feeling that way right now. Uh, and it's true, it's real. Like the way that, that we are living with being at home and staying the, away from others creates that feeling in people. And especially if you're, you're living and you don't love the home situation you're in right now, it can just make things kind of amplified too. Like you can, you, there's no escaping it, right? Even if it's a good situation and you love your mom, like I'm sure my kids would say maybe today, not so much, but who knows. Um, uh, too much time, too much of a good thing can just get tired and we miss our friends. We miss our routines. We miss, we're missing out on a lot. We're missing out on our uh, sports, the spring sports. We're missing out on parties and just things that we had all anticipated are not happening and there's a lot of things that aren't even going to be made up and so I just want to recognize that we understand that and we are so sorry um, but one thing that I want you to know also is that as real as this loneliness feeling is in you there are ways to combat it and we want to come to it from a Christ perspective uh, as, and also so, as much tangible perspective and ways as well one of the things I just want you to remember, and this I hope this makes you feel better, but gosh, um, one of the things that Jesus cried out on the cross was, God, what did it say? It says, my God, my, why have you forsaken me? Like even Jesus felt forsaken by God. Have you even, have you had those moments where you've been like, God, where are you in this? Like where, how, how are you allowing these things? And you know what? Those questions do not scare God and they do not make him angry. He wants you to be real and offer those questions to him. And my challenge for you is to give him room to respond. Give the Lord an opportunity to answer your questions. And then the next thing is give him space to hear. Like, are you ask? Give him time to, to hear. And then are you also looking? Are you looking for ways where God is still real in your life? Are you looking for to see where you are still finding connection with other people? Um, I know that my kids, they got Chromebooks from the school. 
and I was thrilled. Like, I don't, I would not have been thrilled about this normally, but all of them were zooming with their friends on their beds and they were connecting that way. Find ways to connect with your friends. Connect with us as leaders. Guys, please reach out to us right now. We are hopeful that you will connect with us. FaceTime me randomly. I'll answer if I can or not. Text us. Um, reach out through the social media. Please know that we are here for you still. And then the next thing I really want to encourage you, and it's been super helpful for me, because I've also been struggling with some depression through all of this and just loss of things that I've been really looking forward to, like my graduation from college is postponed. My senior's graduation is probably not gonna happen. And so I'm sad for them. I lost my clients. So we're all in, we've all lost something. Nobody's is more than another, but we all feel it differently and that's valid. So one of the things that has helped me overcome and it's, it's so simple and you hear us talk about it all the time, it's reading the scriptures. So what reading the word has done for me, it doesn't remove the fact that I'm still lonely but it makes it more manageable. It is making me feel less alone. It's more like, it's kind of like without it, without, with, if I, I like to lift weights too sometimes. So if you think about it, it's like without scripture, I look at this real, this weight and I would not be able to pick it up. I'm not strong enough to pick it up. But the second I read my scripture <coughs> and I listen to some of the truth that is in there and it gives me hope and encouragement, all of a sudden, I'm able to pick up that weight. I'm stronger. It immediately makes me stronger. It doesn't mean that it's not still heavy, but I am able to handle it. So I want to read to you a few scriptures to help strengthen you really quick, to help you at least get through today. And that's the thing. We are just trying to get through every day, you guys. Just make it through today. Stay hopeful today. And let's worry about tomorrow when tomorrow comes. So here's what I first want to read to you. I'm going to start in Deuteronomy. And it says right here, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and do not panic before them. For the Lord your God will personally go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. See, isn't that good? And the more you read these things, these truths, and they get into your heart, they lift the mood of your heart. And again, it helps you be able to manage that day better. It's so true. And when I don't, I recognize it too, that I haven't. And I know that I've had a harder day. Uh, what's the next one? Oh, Romans 8. <clears throat> Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or are persecuted or hungry or destitute or in danger or threatened with death or COVID? <laughs> no. Despite all of these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love, neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor demons, neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. That's Romans 8, um, verses 35 through 38. And then... One of the last things, and Jessica spoke on this the other week, and I want to just reiterate it because this is another thing that will help you in your loneliness, is to discover the gifts that God has given you and using them. And by doing, being active, like moving and doing something with your gifts helps relieve that. It may be difficult. That's why start with scripture, increase your strength, and then move forward, right? And this is what God says. It says, in his grace, God has give, given us different gifts for doing certain things well. What has he given you the gift to do well? So if God has given you the ability to prophesy, speak out with as much faith as God has given you. If your gift is serving others, I know a lot of you are servants, then serve them well. If you are a teacher, teach well. If your gift is to encourage others, be encouraging. If it is giving, give generously. If God has given you leadership ability, take the responsibility seriously. And if you have a gift for showering kindness to others, do it gladly. Don't just pretend to love others, really love them. I'm gonna stop there because I'm getting long too. Find what you're good at and see how it can translate into this, into the way we're living now. Find ways to, re to reduce other people's loneliness too. 
if you do that for others, the same will come back. You know what I mean? So here's the thing. It's real. This is hard. There's no way around it. This is hard. Feel your feelings. Do that. But then get into the word. Increase your strength and go. Now go do something with this, okay? We love you. Bless you all. And uh, message me. FaceTime me. Something.